If you're looking to market your brand right now, you have a whole bunch of unconventional ways to get your message across. Thanks to the internet, you don't have to pay someone to plaster your brand name all over the city. All you need is a creative, out of the box idea that sells your message. And if you can actually execute that idea on a low budget, you've hit the jackpot. This is exactly what we call guerrilla marketing. Guerrilla marketing goes all the way back to 1984 when American business writer Jay Conrad published a book of the same name. As Conrad himself described, this kind of marketing strategy is focused on taking the viewer by surprise, creating a strong impression and eventually creating massive buzz through word of mouth and now social media platforms. Fast forward three decades later and guerrilla marketing has been used to sell everything from soaps to movies to pizzas. Intrigued to find out more? Well, in this video, I'll give you a roundup of five guerrilla marketing strategies that actually got great results to give you some inspiration. Number five, Hereditary's Creepy Dolls. Horror movies try to use viral marketing strategies all the time now, but it was Hereditary that started the trend. One night, a whole bunch of people who had attended the movie's midnight screening found creepy dolls outside their hotel doors. They inevitably filmed this and the clips were shared widely on social media and this helped generate buzz for the film. Despite being incredibly low cost and simple, this really got people's attention just how the producers would have wanted and the movie ended up earning a whopping $80 million at the box office. Number four, Spotify's personalized playlists. Spotify get really creative when it comes to this, and this has led to some very beneficial marketing. For example, they launched their Wrapped campaign, which gave users the ability to see exactly which songs and artists they'd listened to most for the previous year. Of course, this included a share button, which meant social media became flooded with Spotify's branding. This genuinely made me want to start using Spotify more to get access to this kind of results every year. They did a similar thing when they released playlists based on your horoscope, and as weird as that may sound, people go crazy for these custom playlists, and it got picked up by several major publications, giving them loads more free marketing. Number three, Dove's Real Beauty campaign. In 2004, Dove released perhaps its most popular ad to date, which was the Real Beauty campaign that portrayed women of all colors and sizes. Dove put forward the idea that all women are beautiful in their own way, and unsurprisingly, it resonated massively with the intended audience, who were sick of trying to live up to the unrealistic standards usually portrayed in adverts. The outcome? The campaign went viral and sparked a whole conversation about beauty standards. But of course, Dove were at the forefront of all this, giving them huge amounts of free publicity, whilst also positioning them in a very positive light compared to competitors. They were made out to be like they were the ones on women's side. Number two, Bird Box's meme strategy. If you cast your mind back to the start of December 2018, you may remember that Bird Box memes flooded our timelines. Bird Box was a Netflix movie that got more than 40 million views in the first week of release, and yes, the movie starred Sandra Bullock and had a pretty decent storyline, but that wasn't the only reason for its success. What Bird Box did was pay a whole bunch of social media influencers to make memes about the film to help promote it. Now, if there's anything that spreads like wildfire on the internet, it's memes. And this guerrilla strategy worked out perfectly because Bird Box was everywhere within a day of its release, creating loads of intrigue around the film. I genuinely first heard about the movie because of this. And so it ended up breaking the Netflix record for most watched movie in a week. Number one, Domino's paving for pizza strategy. This is an unconventional yet highly effective example of guerrilla marketing. In 2018, Domino's addressed the pizza delivery dilemma that no one was talking about, smudged and distorted pizzas. Obviously, nobody likes to receive their pizza with the ingredients sliding all over the place. And Domino's was addressing the elephant in the room, except it went after America's infrastructure and the alarming number of potholes in the street. Domino's started their own project to repair these potholes in all 50 states of America. By doing this, it placed the focus on solving an everyday problem that everyone faces. Fixing some of the potholes cost almost nothing compared to the publicity and goodwill that this marketing strategy generated. And that's a wrap for our guerrilla marketing strategies that actually got results. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more success and business lessons. See you in the next one. Cheers.